In this video, you're going to learn how to do synthetic division of polynomials. Now, previously you learned how to do uh, long division of polynomials. If you need to review that, check out my videos on uh, dividing uh, polynomials using long division. But in this case, synthetic division is like a shortcut. And it works when you're dividing by like x plus a constant or x minus a constant. So it's a linear factor here. And what we do when we do the synthetic division is if you're dividing by x plus 3, you're actually going to put a negative 3 up here. If it's a minus 3, then you're going to put a positive 3. So that sign is the opposite. And then what you want to do is you want to write the coefficients of the numbers that come in front of the variables, paying attention that if you're missing any terms in the polynomial that you put a 0 for a placeholder. So in this case, you can see we have like 1x cubed, so that's 1. 0x squared, so we're going to put a 0 as a placeholder, and then negative 2x, and then positive 8. And you can space those out a little bit. Now, sometimes you might be missing two terms, like you might be skipping from x cubed all the way down to like a constant, you know, or you're skipping x squared and x, so you'd have to put two zeros, or you might need three zeros. So just kind of pay attention that they're in uh, descending order like that. Now, the first step, you want to drop down that first number. So whatever this number is, you bring it down. And then what you do is you multiply on the diagonal. And I'm going to draw lines. You don't have to draw these lines, but you multiply on the diagonal, negative 3 times 1, and that number goes right here. And then you add straight down. And then you multiply on the diagonal. So negative 3 times negative 3 is 9. And then you add straight down. And then you multiply on the diagonal. So negative 3 times 7 is negative 21. And then you add straight down that comes out to negative 13. And this last number here is going to be your remainder. Now what you do when you're doing the synthetic division is because you're dividing by x to the first, this is going to go down by 1 degree. So you're going to go from x cubed to 1x squared minus 3x plus 7. And then what we do with the remainder is you can say plus a negative 13 over the divisor x plus 3. Now if you wanted to, instead of doing plus a negative 13, you could just write this as minus 13 over x plus 3, and this is your final result. Let's take a look at another example. So in example number 2 now, you can see we're dividing by x minus 2. We have our polynomial in descending order from the highest power down to the lowest. And when we divide by x minus 2, remember we want to change this sign to the opposite. So this is going to become a positive 2 that we put right there. We're going to use our coefficients, so 3, 2, 0x squared, so put a 0 there, negative 1x, and positive 7. Remember, we always drop down that first number, and then we multiply in the diagonal, 2 times 3 is 6, and we add straight down. Multiply in the diagonal, 2 times 8 is 16, and then we add straight down. 2 times 16, multiplying on the diagonal, 32, and we add straight down. Multiply on the diagonal, that's 62, and we add straight down, and this last number is our remainder. Now, if there was no remainder, that means that x minus 2 goes into this polynomial evenly, okay? But in this case, there is a remainder, and remember, it goes down by 1 degree. So we have x to the fourth here, so this is actually going to be 3x cubed plus 8x squared plus 16x plus 31 plus 69 divided by x minus 2. So you just put that remainder over the divisor, and this is your final result. Let's take a look at one more example. Okay, for number 3, why don't you pause the video and see if you can try this one on your own for some practice. So how would you divide this polynomial by the quantity x plus 2? Now, if I was going to do this, I'd see, okay, I'm dividing by x plus 2, so I know I have to flip that to the opposite sign. So this is going to be a negative 2 here. Remember, if this is x minus 2, I'd put a positive 2. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the coefficients, 4x to the fourth. Make sure you capture the sign. A minus is going to be like a negative. 3x cubed plus 2x squared plus 0x. There's not a, an x, so we put a placeholder. And then minus 7. Remember, you always want to drop down that first number. That's kind of the little bit different step here. So you, you drop down that first number. Then once you do that, you just multiply and add, multiply and add, multiply and add. And I like to say multiply on the diagonal, add straight down. Multiply on the diagonal, add straight down. Multiply on the diagonal, add straight down. Multiply on the diagonal, and add straight down, which is going to give us 89 as a remainder. 
So now what we can do is we can say, all right, we started off with x to the fourth. This is going to go down by one degree. So it's going to be 4x cubed minus 11x squared going in descending order plus 24x minus 48 uh, plus our remainder, 89, over our divisor, x plus 2. And that's going to be your final result. Now remember, if this came out to 0, what that tells you is that x plus 2 is a factor and negative 2 would be a 0, meaning like an x-intercept. If you want more practice, you want to see some more examples, follow me over to that previous video I did talking about how to do synthetic division, and we'll get some more practice over there. I'll see you in that video.